beautiful. One of the most exciting moments in the fall for me is collecting seeds from our plants. And today I'm sitting here with my rose quartz multiflora tomato. And we've got many tomato plants of one variety. It's a kind of challenge to uh, know which one of them you are going to collect the seeds from. When I collect seeds from my rose quartz tomatoes, I try to collect the seeds from the sweetest plants. And uh, in earlier years, I done that by tasting them. And uh, this year I got a surprise because uh, the plant here on the left side I thought was very sweet, more sweeter than before. And uh, all my friends around here, they tasted all the tomatoes here and they say the same. That plant on the left there is much sweeter than the others. So I bought a refractometer this. I can open it. And uh, you use it for uh, measuring how much sugar and minerals there is in the solution. And I tried to measure uh, the bricks in uh, that, that plant on the left there. And I got shocked by the result. The bricks was 10 and it's the first time I ever tasted and measured one of my tomatoes to be such a high bricks value. And those two on the right side there I'm gonna try to measure today. Um, I don't think the bricks value is so high on them. All three plants have received just the same amount of fertilizing water and they all got the same soil. So it's quite strange that all three plants taste slightly different. I'm going to measure the bricks value in those two plants on the right side here and see what we come up with. So come and join me. So the first I want to do is to collect a very ripened one. Let's see here. Yes, I got one. I'll try this one. And this cherry tomato was from the right plant out on the edge. So I'll try a cut a little hole in it and press out the juice. Okay. I'll press out a drop like this and just wait. Half a minute to a minute. Okay, moment of the truth. 9.2. It was a higher value than I expected. But there are differences in sweetness of those two plants. Maybe there's more acid in that one to the right and that's why we taste the difference or maybe people I don't know if people can taste difference in a 10 bricks value and 9.2 okay I'm gonna take the middle one and here is the tomato from the plant that stands in the middle. I'm gonna do a cut in this as well. 
I press the juice out. Like this. This one here wasn't so juicy. And I can eat, eat afterwards. It didn't taste so sweet as the other one. Wow. That was a big difference. Hmm. Now I got surprised. Seven point two. Hmm. So the bricks value kind of vary a lot in different plants in the same variety well that was much hmm. I'll do a control measure hang out in a minute so here's another one I'll try to test this one out as well Okay, this one was a little bit sweeter, 8.1. And I, I got a kind of conclusion here. All other persons who tasted these say the same as I do. The one on the left. And the refractometer says the same. That one on the left is 10 bricks. And the other ones are lower. So I don't know. Can you use a refractometer to measure the taste? I don't know. In this case, the refractometer says the same as our taste does. So, I don't know if other people have some other experiences with a refractometer than I had.